All right, we're gonna do a real quick video here on the M60 Stellite liner, um, what it is, how it works, where it goes, things like that. Uh, before we get into that, I just wanna acknowledge that I understand, you know, I've been posting more shooting videos and things like that on the channel. Um, and uh, I just wanna assure uh, you guys that do watch these instructional videos that I'm not gonna stop making them. I understand that these are helpful to a lot of people out there um, and th that's the whole reason I started making these in the first place so long ago and we're gonna keep doing it until there's nothing else left for us to make videos on um, but in this day and age you know as opposed to when we started doing this posting content which uh, people like to see and it draws more people to for example is just beneficial from a business standpoint. So that's the direction we're going, but we're not, not gonna forget about you guys. We're gonna keep making videos like this. All right, so let's get into it here. We have a couple commando barrels, and some nice Sako Defense E3, E4 barrels here. This one was made in 1991. Let's see if the camera will focus. There's a date code right there. Anyway. Um, what we have next to this commando barrel is a nice cutaway commando barrel. Uh, we can see that this has been obviously precision cut and this would have been used as a training aid in like a classroom setting to help um, people who use this machine gun in the military understand the ins and outs of it and that's the purposes of what we're doing here today as well. So when we hear the term stellate line, everyone is looking for stellate line barrels and uh, most people that own M60s have heard the term for sure. Um, and uh, when this gun was made in 1957, Stellite did, was not in these barrels at all. And what they found was is they were wearing out faster um, and they needed to come up with something to help prolong the life of the barrels and allow them to take more abuse. And that's where Stellite comes into play. Stellite is this super hard, complex uh, material and it does just what we mentioned it allows these barrels to take much more abuse and uh, prolongs the service life life of them so in uh, you know the 50s the early 60s mid 60s I don't know the exact date they started making it mandatory for all m60 barrels to have a stellite liner in them um, so all commando barrels out there are going to be stellate lined. Um, when you look at standard barrels, you have to look at the date codes. If it's a very early 1970s, 60s, something like that, there's a good chance that it's not stellate lined. So anyway, let's look at what this stellate liner is. Now, when mo most people think of a stellate liner, they think it's this lining in the entire barrel, but it's not. It's just this metal piece right here, and we're going to remove it. This whole barrel actually comes apart to show how it's manufactured. That's your Stellate liner right there. Um, again, it's cut away in half to show uh, to show exactly what it is. And we also have two pieces of our commando barrel or collar, this top portion, and then the actual barrel portion. And the way that this Stellite is made is this barrel is made and turned in this portion here, and then the Stellite liner is pressed in. Okay, and once it's pressed in, this top, these top portions are threaded on. And torqued into place. And then that is it. That's our Stellite right there. Now, look, the throat of the barrel and this initial portion is what takes the most abuse when the weapon is fired. It's what really wears out. Like, if you ever look at one of these that's really worn out and you notice there's no rifling left up here, if you turn the barrel around and look down the muzzle, you'll notice that there's rifling at the end. Obviously, yeah, this is basic stuff here. The throat in this area is what wears out first. And then once it's all assembled, um, that's how our round sits in the chamber, just like that. Um, and I'll show you, you know, this Stellite can wear out like anything else, and I'm just gonna give you an example here. This is a Dillon uh, throat gauge for 308. So this is a newer barrel here, and when we put this in, we can see right there is where it seats, which is new, it's a new barrel. 
And this barrel, which is used pretty well, we can see, goes well beyond that. Um, and what it is, is it's this Stellite liner wearing out. So that's where this would sit. And then as it, as it wears down, this gauge is allowed to go down further. So anyway, that's it. Like I said, quick, very quick and easy. Just to ex look a little closer at this Stellite liner and what it is. And, you know, this way when you hear the term Stellite line barrel, you know exactly what, uh, what the people or what the seller is referring to.